Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Rad, uh, welcome to Rad Kutsarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and uh, Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading March 25th to March 31st, 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the tarot cards I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Capricorn star sign and uh, for that reason, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Capricorns. So if you want more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you predictions for it, for its future, that is a subject of a uh, private reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for recorded readings and $15 for private call readings. So um, the first card, which is marking the topic of your week Capricorns, that is going to be the uh, Four of Cups. The second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, that is going to be the Ace of Wands, very bizarre. It's, it's very bizarre. Uh, then what we do have is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the chariot card. Now things are getting a little bit more sense because the first couple of cards are in a huge contradictory, guys. Uh, then uh, the uh, last card, which is the final outcome of uh, the situation, final outcome of growth, should you follow here the guidance of Tarot. That will be the Eight of uh, Pentacles. So once again, we do have the Four of Cups as a topic. Then it is the uh, Ace of Wands as a negative approach. After that, this is going to be the Chariot card as a positive approach. And finally, we do have the Eight of Pentacles as a um, final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot. So what we have, it's uh, Four of Cups as a topic. So Four of Cups, uh, every book that you read is going to tell you that this card is a card of boredom and a card of um, basically not willing to move on forward and so on and so forth. Uh, in a very general sense, uh, the Four of Cups, it's a card pointing that there is a... a a very good opportunity around us or around you in this case Capricorns but there is a danger you missing it uh, there is a danger not being able to recognize it and not being able to to seize it in general and in order for you to be able to seize and capitalize on this opportunity uh, is it does reside into mental efforts not into emotional efforts should you reside to emotional efforts here you are going to be stuck into one place so you need to look sideways based on your uh, mental efforts and recognize the opportunity. Now, usually I would say that this opportunity regards into something new, but in this case, it's not about something new. It is about the true, it is about something which you are feeling stagnated for. It is about something that you cannot improve until this very moment. But now with the Four of Cups in this follow-up of the next card, it does look like that um, you will have the necessary means in order to do so, in order to advance and to improve your circumstances. However, once again, it will require that mental effort to recognize how to use those, those means and how to capitalize on this window of uh, opportunity. The accompanied card, this is going to be the Eight of uh, Wands. The uh, combination is um, passive enemies and it does look like that you have to take it easy and especially not risky. So with this combination, risk and also with the second card, that it is the Ace of Wands, risk is something that you should strain away from. I mean, when something looks risks, risky, you should kind of run nine mountains into the tenth one. Because with the uh, Ace of Wands, here, uh, should you not face uh, whatever opportunities you do have in front of you with clear uh, headed mind and a lot of calculation, you will risk to rob yourself as a matter of fact of everything you got. So um, you may have your chance to improve your relationship throughout this week. You may have your chance to improve your career as well throughout this week. 
but once again it will be important guys to approach it carefully and very thoroughly thought through rather like kind of like um, having a meticulous plan for moving on forward how to how to persevere through the situation itself instead of taking you know a chance blind blindfolded realizing after that that you have just wasted your arrows if i may express myself that way so going to the second card which is the negative approach and is exactly what we're talking about here ace of wands being tempted by this let's say seemingly gainful enterprise uh, and thinking that you know you can sort the things out as they go just on the contrary you can't sort the things out as they go you have to think of the things that can come up in the very initial state of this uh, window of opportunity also with the ace of wands everything you need it is around you you don't need anything new to to show up on the horizon if i may express myself that way so to stir your things and to improve your situation either career-wise or either relationship-wise that being said you can achieve great things working in the same company working with the same uh, with the same person for example uh, being with the same person into relationship being in the same social circle and so on and so forth it is just if you are facing stag stagnation right now it is because you're trying either outdated methods and you need to kind of like sober yourself mentally wise and try a are different strategies or different ways as well which means are going to be presented to you this week it's just you need to have the awareness to seize on them the accompanied card here that is going to be the world formation is active neutrals and uh, the world card it does point that things aren't over at all either into your marriage or either into your relationship or either into your career for that matter and uh, before you decide or before you strive for something new you have to be 100 percent sure that you have exhausted all options available and none of them breed any yields because with these cards you may miss a uh, one option or maybe two options available that is which are to traverse your situation from poignant one into a, a very positive one so before you decide to detach yourself for example from your relationship this week and decide to break it think of it that way did you make everything you could to improve it same thing goes for your career or uh, th that could be as well related to a certain project if the project is going away and it, it is failing ask yourself have you done everything you could and can you through a, a bit of uh, adaptations into your vision and as well into your strategies improve it in any way you can it will require some um, uncomfortability because the four of cups uh, when you seize the opportunity here and make use of it always requires you to do something abnormal of your standards you know something that you are not used to as well but once again is going to bring results as we can see in the next couple of cards so what we do have as a third card it is how you should approach the situation chariot card first of all with great amounts of confidence with the chariot card you need to know that within that situation of yours which is your marriage your current pro your current marriage your current project your current relationship there is something that can make your wish fulfilled look of the hard work is going to be truly truly in presence there and you can how can i place it you will have the independency to incorporate your personal signature either into your projects or either into your career with the chariot card you just simply need to be yourself that is and try new ways how to present yourself in front of uh, in front of the world the chariot card promises you triumph and also kind of like asks you to be um, very proud of your previous achievements that is and to show people that you do worth for something if that is the case into your career let's say that uh, people are mocking at you and they have a, a low opinion of you well this week through you showing them that you are well versatile you are to prove them very very wrong very very wrong as well the chariot is about a um, 
placing a foundation, trampling foundation from which you can truly skyrocket yourself into a greater, greater height. The accompanied card that is going to be the Tree of Wands. The um, combination is uh, passive, uh, passive enemies. And definitely we're talking about surprising the audience, surprising the, the environment with some unorthodox moves, some unorthodox strategies, things that people simply could not see coming from you, from your gentle soul, for example, or from, from your um, representation, that is. So it does look like, guys, that you have to show that you are capable here in this week on much more. And... Uh, those who are opposing you in any way, they are going to be severely regretted because it does look like that they will not know what they what, what hit them uh, at the end of the day, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. But with the Chariot card, you should aim to... Uh, obtain full control upon your personal uh, upon your personal performance and it is very advisable to attend only into those kind of endeavors and enterprises which you have full control upon because ultimately at the end you want your personal sing signature in there to stand uh, to stand up so we are definitely not talking about uh, cooperation here we are talking about uh, singular representation of oneself just as a one is through making use of this new means and that new window of opportunity of yourself. And uh, at the end, uh, should you follow that guidance of Tarot, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. So whatever happens at the end, you are to face with huge amounts of conscientiousness as well. You are to have the subtleties of the minor uh, or the eyes of the minor details of the subtleties in there meaning nothing will be able to surprise you in any way and the best thing about the eight of pentacles is that what took long time to prepare now it is ready to be initiated so finally you can use that foundation for skyrocket yourself and initiate the grand scheme of things the big plan of yours either career-wise or either relationship-wise, that is. But with the Eight of Pentacles, you get quenched through ups and downs. And uh, what doesn't kill you simply makes you stronger. And you are going to recognize that at the end of this week, uh, March 25th to March 31st, 2019. Having the uh, Knight of Swords here, the combination is passive, uh, passive enemies. It does look like that you're going to restrain yourself from irrational behavior, scampering one resources in the sense of the, having no staying power and always making excuses about certain mistakes and about um, not being able to proceed simply because you are not going to do any mistakes and you will not have the uh, lack of uh, determination to proceed on forward. So in generally, uh, your logic here and your mental efforts are to pers persevere over the emotional, emotional downs you are maybe experiencing at the start of the week and determining yourself that you do deserve better and that should you work for it, you definitely are going to achieve better. Better is what is gonna find you at the end of the week. So that being said, Capricorns, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 25th to March 31st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, that was your general reading for Capricorn star sign. And for that reason, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and level with every single different Capricorns. If you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the few examples in this video and to give it a prediction for its future, that is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there on the very front page you're going to find a full list of my services as, their, as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for uh, recorded readings and $15 for a private call readings, live call readings. Rod signing out now, see you next time. Bye!